Welcome to another Quantum Conversation, brought to you by AcousticHealth.com. I'm Loren Gailey, and I invite you to sit back as we enter the quantum realm, that space of the greater part of you. It is your connection to infinite possibilities, infinite potential, and infinite mastery. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We are with David Gibson of the Globe Sound Healing Institute. David is really a musician, um, a pioneer in sound healing, and he's making great strides in the industry by gathering information from a whole bunch of researchers and healers and scientists about how sound can affect our health, our healing processes, and even higher consciousness. David, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So good to see you. It's really good to see you. I'm very excited about this 10th annual Globe Sound Healing Conference. In fact, we're going to put a link in our Zoom for everyone to register. This is something that is full of really extraordinary information. When you give an overview of the topics and the researchers that you've interviewed, what sticks out as some of the most compelling research that you've come across? Well, as far as research, <clears throat> oh my God, the work that John Stuart Reed has done, he's collected detailed scientific data for over thousand doctors of an association that he's involved in on precisely how sound works at the cellular level, at all different levels, physically in the body, right? And it's, there's never been anyone that's done such detailed information. So that means <clears throat> it's, it's like the whole, one of the big goals besides getting really high, raising our consciousness, right? <laughs> Which is the, the, the best is getting sound into hospitals. And uh, this paper is gonna help do that as much as anything. It's really, we're right on the brink of a major change. So I live right next door to a major philanthropist and she's, uh, they have like events where they bring over all these people that are helping on uh, helping the planet. And it's really, it's really amazing. And uh, the day before yesterday, this guy's walking around in my in my driveway, and I said, "What do you do?" And he says, oh, "I built you know a ton of hospitals, and we're now working on a deck to get <clears throat> this device into hospitals, which will actually explode cancer cells in real time, and you uh, with no side effects with sound with ultrasound, right? And within <clears throat> a half hour, you go home." completely cancer free. And so it's really happening, right? It's really with with what John's doing and with what the work I'm doing and with with uh, all this work, we're about to transform the actual medical system seriously, right? It's like <laughs> a couple of years ago, this guy calls up and he says, Dave, uh, my guides told me to call Dave Gibson. I'm like, oh, I love it. I love it, right? What do they want, right? He says that you're bringing sound into the medical field and it will be completely embedded in the medical field in 10 years, right? And then I talked to this other friend who's a major psychic and she says, yeah, <clears throat> it'll be embedded in 10 years, but it'll be 20 years before it's completely accepted. And I'm thinking, 20 years? And our entire medical system is going to be completely transformed where we're not killing people as much. Right? I mean, this is huge. This is major. So that was kind of around the research. That's, that's the, uh, probably the coolest. But Jeffrey Thompson has gone off the deep end with binaural beats and brainwave entrainment. You know, we're talking about being able to actually take an EEG map of a certain state of consciousness, whether it's gratitude, compassion, love, oneness, and entrain your brain 
into that state of consciousness, right? Which is means not only can you get really high and connected to source and connected to everyone in the universe and a place where there's all knowing, like where the shaman know, knows the, the song of the plant and can sing it and you get its medicine. But it's like, it's like any mental issue like anxiety or depression is completely gone, right? We're talking about, we're on the threshold. And I used to talk about this as, okay, let's set our intention and do a sound of it, you know, all disease gone, right? And I was like, yeah, right, can't really imagine it. It's actually happening now. We could have no more anxiety, no more depression, no more dementia with frequencies that actually melt the, the uh, plaque in the brain. We could have no more PTSD. We could even figure out how to work with autism, although someone got really upset with me uh, <laughs> last week because I, I had on, on our uh, poster, I said, we work with autism. And they said, autism's not a problem. They're light beings, right? Well, yes, but to be able to have healthy relationships, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like actually nothing's a problem. It's all perfect, right? But you know, to live in this 3D world, right? So anyway, it's, it's like the potential here is so unbelievable, huge, unbelievably huge. Yes, congratulations. So when you started this conference 10 years ago, 10 years, my time flies. Um, <laughs> did you expect this movement forward in that amount of time? Or how have you seen it change? You know, it's so interesting. It's like we talk about like, <laughs> visualizing, so we can manifest, right? And it's like, it's funny because I didn't expect it. I didn't expect, I mean, I ex expected there would be changes in how we work with sound and to, to, but I never expected that the hospitals would now be accepting it. Right? I mean, I'll it's really- yeah. on that, David, because I know that the world, um, those watching and listening to this have been envisioning that. And right. it's so beautiful. Right. You know, it's interesting. So years ago, <clears throat> Bill Nye came oh, yes. over and did oh, an interview no. at my place. And it was just, I mean, he didn't tell me that they were going to use it to actually to, to make us out as quacks. And bash you. It was kind of mean. It was really mean. Now we of... have, we're yeah. actually doing five shows on Netflix on the science behind the magic of sound with the major video production company. Yay. And it's, it's finally happening. But anyway, you know, Bill Nye goes, <clears throat> Dave Gibson is working or he says he's healing cancer with sound. I never said that in any of the interviews, right? Because I'm, I, I kind of treasure my life, right? <laughs> right? And so, <clears throat> so then someone puts out a e mass email that Dave Gibson's work uh, curing uh, cancer with sound. And I'm like, Oh, God, I'm going down a half hour later. <clears throat> the head of integrative therapy from Kaiser, who is in my certificate program, calls up and says, Dave, Kaiser wants to work on cancer with sound, and we want to do research with you. And that was when I went from being afraid to realizing this is the path. Hospitals are now leading it. And what's really cool is Kaiser has its own <clears throat> insurance company. So they're wanting to reduce costs. So they're totally wanting to bring it forward. Whereas other hospitals, you know, it's like, <clears throat> it's not the deal. So it's, it's really changing. And once that sound is in the hospitals to destroy cancer cells, then, and I'm already partnering with this company that's doing this, we can say, hey, 
let's resonate each cell and each organ into its natural healthy frequency so we don't have disease right uh, i gotta tell you my download oh uh, please do okay so a couple of months ago at four in the morning my guides woke me up and they said this is how we heal every disease in the world i'm saying it's like four in the morning okay okay fine okay and they said we need to know the <clears throat> musical interval relationship between the heart brain and breath when you're in the zone right? well there's multiple zones there's peace there's heart coherence which is from heart math where your heart goes up and down in a smooth s curve in speed right and that's well well monitored uh, easily seen with devices and then there's oneness from our last conference jeffrey martin shows a eeg map of when you are one with the universe science now meeting spirituality big time right so anyway <clears throat> I call up Rowan McCready, who, who present, presented in the conference here, and I said, Rowan, we need readouts of people when the heart, brain, uh, of heart, brain, and breath in heart coherence. And he sent me 15 readouts. And we're now analyzing them. We have to average out the heart in order to get a stable note that's in relation to the brain and the breath. But that's going to be a very specific musical interval, and we're finding that it's octaves. It's double. It's just an octave. It's in, when you're in the zone, right? And so we can actually take that rhythm of that person, heart, brain, and breath, and octavize it up, which means double it until it becomes a note. And now we've got a chord of you. Right? But then my guide said, okay, we need to know the melody for each of the 11 systems in the body, melody and rhythm you know, circulatory, uh, respiratory, you know, uh, nervous system, all the, the medical systems in the body. And I said, okay, how am I gonna do that? They said, well, the rhythm is gonna be in direct relationship to the heart, brain, and breath when you're in the zone. When you're in the zone, it's not gonna be weird, it's gonna be in sync, right? And most people are thinking it's gonna be octaves, maybe a musical fifth, which is a three to two relate relationship, but it's not gonna be weird, right? So it'll be pretty easy to find that, that rhythm for that each of the 11 systems. Then we need, need to know the notes of the melody. In order to find the notes, we first have to find the nodes as to where we're gonna measure for those notes. In a meridian, the nodes are the acupuncture points, right? So if we, uh, so with, we can find the frequency of acupuncture points and when energy flows through a meridian, it's playing a song at a very specific rhythm. Ba, 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 right? So now we're talking about the actual nodes within each of the 11 systems, not the meridians, right? So around here, I don't really have to get out of bed all of these doctors started calling up and we put together a whole team of doctors to find the nose very quickly, right? And then John Stuart Reed is working with, has been working with a device called the Raman spectroscopy, which is an electron microscope that will show precisely the <clears throat> harmonic content, all of the frequencies of any cell scientifically which means we now have a device that can measure the notes of the nodes within each of the 11 systems. We already have the rhythm. So now we have the song of flow precisely tuned to that person because everybody's different. This is why no one has come up with any set of frequencies that anybody else agrees with for anything in the body. No one agrees with anybody on any, because it's different. It's obviously different from person to person, right? Mm -hmm. So then we can actually use needles with frequencies, electrodes and microcurrents, infrared and light, and pulse that song through each of the 11 systems like a river of flow to break through any blockage, because blockage are the definition of 
of, 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 of sickness. Right? Health is no blockages, right? It's flow. It's precisely tuned to you to heal every disease in the world, which means <clears throat> I can't wait to hear my 11 songs playing together, <laughs> right? Which means that you could then most likely, I bet, from our last conference with Jamie Lou finding my soul song, and I'm like bawling, right? To be able to find your soul song based on those 11 songs in your, your physical body, in the 11 systems, right? That's the first step. I'm really excited about that. The next step is to actually measure all 70 trillion cells. We'll take a little time. Yeah, that's a tall order. Right, right. It, but, you know, when we need a, f a few people, maybe 20 people, and, you know, and a lot of the cells are going to be similar, but it, with this device, we can do it. And then we use AI, artificial intelligence, to map out the musical interval relationships between all of those cells. Even if they're different frequencies from person to person, that relationship is the same. And I'm thinking maybe different cultures are a little bit different. And then I talked to a few intuitives that I really trust, and they said, no, this is the template of perfection of health for a human. It's the exact same for all. We have different flows that go through those musical intervals that make us different, right? But the structure of a, of a human relationship-wise is complete harmony especially when you're in the zone and healthy, right? And so we, this is like the Holy Grail. Yeah. Right? And then we resonate those parts into their harmonic relationship. And now the system works perfectly. This is interesting because really what I'm talking about, though, is physical only which can resolve emotional issues, can resolve mental issues once your physical body's humming, right? That's often the problem that gets in the way of us even connecting to spirit and source, right? So, but then we work at the emotional level to get over these blockages. And we have all types of techniques that we can work with emotionally. <clears throat> We've got on our medical sound association site which we started in the conference last year we now have treatment plans for <clears throat> anxiety depression grief autism ptsd dementia cancer in detail we've had our students for the last 10 years creating these treatment plans for all of these issues and we've collated them and now we've been having bi-monthly meetings in the Medical Sound Association, and we have 400 doctors and sound therapists that have been helping refine these treatment plans now in detail. You know, the approach, the uh, safety guidelines, the um, uh, intake questions, and all the different treatments for not only <clears throat> physical issues, but emotional and mental issues as well, right? So really what we're talking about, <laughs> this is, okay, here's, here's, here, here's where we're gonna be in 10 years. It's like, this is, it's like this, I can hardly imagine this now. And in 10 years, I bet it's gonna happen, right? Check this, okay. So you go into a hospital and you got a physical issue and they say, okay, First, go into the emotional war, uh, wing and figure out what stuck emotion is causing that so we can stop it from continuing to happen, right, after we heal it physically. And then they say, okay, now go into the mental wing, do binaural beats, brainwave entrainment to entrain your brain into oneness and stable, consistent vibrations so that you are focused and ready to receive. Right. And go into the spiritual room. Oh, not spiritual? Well, it's a garden. That's the garden. Yeah. <laughs> right? And then we'll work on the, the physical issue. 
that's the way hospitals should be, right? Right? Let's envision that because <laughs> right. that in okay, in 10 true. years, yeah. we're going to be interviewing and go, remember when we thought about that? <laughs> wow. And hopefully it'll be here sooner. Right, right. <laughs> right. Amazing that the sound is assisting the human body get to spiritual side to clear it out. I mean, it absolutely is an integer, the spiritual connection, the higher self connection. And, and so, you know, even, um, so if we use sound to get us there, what would you have to say about consciousness then? We can use sound to increase consciousness increase awareness like um for i want to share a quick little anecdote i when i started to sing uh going with a singing coach i would sing in my natural tones and when i would sing something so pure of light mm -hmm. i'd start bawling and i couldn't figure out what this is what it is and it's a number of things but i bring this story up because that's the healing for me it has been profound i didn't even know it existed not only was it a past life with my sweet mama uh, but it was a past life all the way back to lemuria uh, and toning and toning like opened this up for me that's extremely healing and i think in this earth plane sound is such a no brainer like it's such we've always gone to sound to right. soothe ourselves right so to see the headway in the scientific community is so exciting yeah. you know it's and it's so much fun right it's like it feels so uh, good. And it takes a little work <laughs> right you know with sound and and music it's the more you get to a place of peace and stillness the more there's a portal that opens up to spirit and source, I've learned. Higher beings are just waiting for you to stabilize so they can contact you, right? Source is all about stability. And once you get the and stable, consistent vibrations versus fear, anxiety, anxiety, right? Or anger or even stress, ah, or even pain, eh, are all chaotic vibrations, where sound is stable. It's like, right? That's peace, and a slow fade to stillness is amazingly effective like a crystal ball or anything fading out over a long period of time. Right? So that's one part of it is to actually just get to that stillness and then add intention. Just, you know, like Doreen Virtue says, the angels are just up there bored to death waiting for you to ask. They can't do anything until you ask. You just got to ask and then it's like, boom, okay, right. But then, but now what's happening is there's, there's two more levels. First of all, whenever you tune in to more than one thing at a time, you go into theta, which is a rhythm of the brain when you're really relaxed and a little spaced out, but that's where you are when you're one with source. Your brain waves are doing a rhythm wah, 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 of theta when you're transmitting love when you're in any higher emotion or when you're one with your soul or with spirit. That's where your brain goes. So when you tune into multiple sounds of multiple crystal balls, multiple Tibetan balls, multiple anything, which there's so many sound healing instruments, and all this going on at once, you go into theta. Nature has it down to help you do that as well. Just a view, right? I mean, oh my God, or just all the branches on a tree. Whoa, and you go into theta. Nature is designed to take us into theta, which is the state where we're one with the universe. <clears throat> and so that's another way that sound, just all the harmonics in a crystal bowl. 
they'll take you there because there's multiple things going on at once, right? But now what's happening is we can actually take all frequencies, which I see source as all frequencies, right? One frequency can lead you there because it gets, because it's, it's peaceful, but source is all frequencies. So I do meditation on all frequencies, tune into all frequencies of sound, all frequencies of rhythm, the, the rhythm of all the, the movement of the planets, all the way up to the light and to the movement of the atoms, and you tune into all, right? And then <clears throat> you are, that, that leads you into source. But now there are frequencies we can use on the brain, across the brain, like I just mentioned earlier, to, to entrain the whole brain into where you would be in that theta when you are in source, right? And so now we've got actual electrodes that can help you access oneness, which is like, like, oh my God, right? It's like, so it's like anybody can do it. And, and it's interesting. Some people say you got to be ready. But other people say, this is who we are. This is who we are, right? Uh -huh. It's like, it's just a, hidden by a little, little film of mass consciousness. The other, the other presentation that was really interesting around mass consciousness is from Rowan McCready. Oh my God, Rowan's gone off the deep end with, with heart math. It's like so cool. They've already for years been doing uh, this heart, co uh, heart coherence project uh, around the world where they have like multiple, like about seven different monitors that monitor the electromagnetic field of the earth. And scientifically, he's now showing that our emotions go into the electromagnetic field of the earth and affect everybody, right? And they're monitoring it. And they've shown very precisely whenever there's any major event, good or bad, those devices that pick it up, right? And 9-11 uh, uh, was like the biggest event. I mean, it was huge what happened, right? But now... Yeah, what does he, he say about now? Well, he's, but now, but what it, now he's got a device, an app that you connect to your body and you can now look at all the people that are connected and see how you, your heart rates are synchronized. And this is what he said when he, when he said it, he said, yeah, we did this scientific experiment, experiment where it proved that all hearts are synchronized, that anybody we've tested, they are in sync. And I'm like, what? On this planet, we're all synchronized to this electromagnetic field around the earth, and we are all in sync together. He's even got an app now where you can connect your tree <laughs> and see how they're synchronized. So it's showing how every rock, every animal, every living thing on this planet is completely synchronized which is basically showing scientifically we are all one. We are all one. Yes, that is amazing and so beautiful. Now we know when we say, when we raise our vibration, we help the planet. Right. We right. totally do. Right. And I don't know if I can handle the responsibility. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We've known for a while that the world should be singing and dancing. It is our birthright. It truly is. It's the distortions of our individual consciousness that leads us down. Uh, a, um, we believe in separation from this source. Right, but it's right. our birthright, and we are returning to it. Right, right. There's a, f a few people talked about the vagus nerve. Which, which is you, very important yeah. in this world because, you know, with what's going on, right. I think each and every one of us has felt frazzled. Right. 
And that is really important. Talk more about what you've learned in this. Yes, it's really, it's, it's kind of basic, but it, it really transformed my view as to what makes me safe. So now when I'm around any person, any situation, any, anything that I don't feel safe, I now understand that the whole, your whole body is looking, it's all, the number one thing it's looking for is, am I safe or not? There's, I mean, the whole system is tuned to precisely that. So now the, the deal is, okay, when we're safe, we can get high. And this actually goes back to childhood as well. Oh my God, we got to talk about Elizabeth Gramps' work. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, but as far as, you know, being safe, you can then expand into higher consciousness, right? But here's the main thing is to what to do when you don't feel safe. And that the, the people in the conference have given so many techniques. Some, I mean, Lynn Miller, oh my God, she's just a joy bucket. I mean, just a joy bucket. I've never had so much fun in a presentation. She was just like, oh, let's just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> I mean, she had the, all these very scientific techniques that were just a blast to actually calm the vagus nerve, right? And they were so easy and so much fun, right? So to be able to, I mean, the easiest is just do an, uh, a vowel, right? It's well known that your ear and your voice are connected to the vag vagus nerve. So there's nothing easier than just doing a calm sound, right? Any, and that's any vowel, right? So this was really cool to see how easy it is to overcome any chaotic situation, right? Oh, I got to tell you about Elizabeth Gramsh. Elizabeth Gramsh, <clears throat> this is a little different from the Vegas nerve. She's been studying Tomatis, the work of Alfred Tomatis from the beginning. Alfred Tomatis's work uh, years ago was figuring out how the ear works and how problems with the ear and bone conduction across the brain from one ear to another, because that's a large part of our hearing, can cause learning disabilities. And he figured out different techniques called, uh, there's a program called the listening program to, to activate the, the bones across your brain to actually, uh, let me explain it this way. When sound goes in the left ear, it also goes into the bones and it should meet up on the other ear. So as the sound goes across the bones, it should actually meet the sound coming in from the other ear. And if it's out of time, it's like people can't understand what you're saying at all. And there's a lot of kids who they're not testing for. And they, and they think they've got ADD, right? Or even think they've got autism. And it's simply, they're not hearing, right? So it's not a problem with their ear, it's a problem with this bone conduction. There's also a muscle inside the ear called the stapedius muscle. And if it doesn't work well, it can cause autism and learning disabilities too. There are sounds that can, can, can uh, exercise it mm -hmm. and get it back to normal, right? And so there's this whole area that is dramatically important for kids to, for us to test, and no one's doing it that could cause, could, could, could help dramatically this whole group of kids that are getting put in this box of having problems when there's, when there's treatments that can totally help it, right? So this was, this is just interesting because, you know, we're doing the whole thing with the Montessori school. We got a hundred thousand dollar grant to take our entire curriculum with 24 instructors into two Montessori schools. And we've now created 
2,500 exercises for the kids from three months all the way up to 18 years progressively, all based on the books on brain development for kids at different age groups, right? And now we're actually starting to do next month, we're going to start doing uh, classes online for free for kids, right? And we've now set up a lobbying group. We now have the, Med uh, the Sound Education Association with over 100 administrators from around the world, like some that have been doing running schools for, for like forever, right? And we're setting up a lobbying team to bring it into public and private schools around the world. So, <clears throat> so if any, you, so you can go to soundeducationcenter.com and download, we have 500 exercises for each age group, and you can download the exercises and also you can join the, the, the group and help, you know, refine these, uh, the other 2,000 exercises we're working on. So it's about a new educational system. Yes. Right? And it's about, it's really about, let me, oh, this is so cool. <clears throat> you know, right now, the big problem in the educational system is the common core. You have to test and you have to teach this stuff, and there's not much time to teach anything else and because you have to be able to take the test. Well, the math test is like, it's like stuff that I learned in math and in, in class, right, when I was in high school, which I went, okay, what's the point? What's the relation to anything? <laughs> okay, oh, no, this is good for your brain, which is true. Right. But what's they have to do with anything? Maybe if I'm going to be a nuclear scientist or astrophysicist, maybe. Right. Or probably. Right. But as far as, you know, how is this going to help? Right. Well, what if we have the math be the mathematical formulas of acoustic resonance, mechanical resonance, yeah. the mathematical formula of quantum resonance? of how resonance and vibration works in the universe, which is exactly the way that nature works, right? Mm -hmm. Let's study the math of the golden mean, right? That's, that's in our body, that's in every living thing. Let's do the math of nature and use that to create the businesses, yeah. right? I mean, that is completely different. I mean, and then... And then all the kids go, oh, I see why we're learning this. Mm -hmm. I want to learn it. It's really cool. It yeah. makes, it helps me understand the universe that I'm in, that I'm a part of. It's really, and can, I can get high with it and still, right? And it, it's, it's exactly the way you would put together a business that's sustainable based yes. on these patterns in nature, right? So the kids come back to, we've got 200 hours of, of kids uh, doing these exercises, which is not just sound, it's music, it's geometry, and emotional expression, it's a whole realm. And they can't wait to get back and learn more, right? So now, there's no kids left behind. There also, there's no kids going, I can't play. I'm not a musician. I'm not good enough. Every sound healing instrument there is, anybody can play. Anybody can go, <laughs> right? Anybody can do a vowel. It's so funny. We're in the school and we're in with the six to 12 year olds. And, uh, and I, I, we started doing sound. This one girl says, you know, those two can sing, but the rest of us, we don't know how, to, we're not good singers. And I'm like, can you do wee? And she goes, yeah, wee. And it's like, can you do wee? And she goes, wee. And then I say, can you do wee? Right? And she goes, wee. There you go. <laughs> it's perfect. You just did it. You're a perfect singer. We all sing when we speak. And just about everybody sings perfectly in tune. 
when they speak. It's pretty rare that someone doesn't sing perfectly when they speak, right? So it's just, I see already, I'm seeing kids from three months getting sound tuned to nature, sounds of nature when they're young, growing up, going through this whole program through 18 years, learning the science in the older years behind how it all works, and really activating not only just the, the left brain, which schools are mostly all about, but getting the right brain working in, in balance, which has been proven that when there's a balance, the left brain works way better, right? So I'm seeing a kid, I've seen it, a visual of a, of a kid going through this whole program just lit up, <laughs> connected to nature, you know, knowing techniques of how to deal with stresses and get back to nature and get back to their own natural vibration, right? This is huge. And I, so changing the medical system, changing the educational system, that's all we're talking about so far. That's a big task and you're doing great strides in it. Really very, very wonderful. Um, just so impressive. And again, it's all the research coming together to prove, to bring the science and the spirituality of it. I wanted to say that this is the shift in action. So everyone be patient as we go through the shift and the old systems crumble, but these are tried and true. And when you talk about the interest in education, you know, like um, acoustic health music from the universe, the work that my dad did, that was a beacon in my life as he took um, mathematical equations and assigned musical notes and it made this beautiful music. And that music awoke me up. It actually changed my life. It's quite amazing. And the patterns of perfection, we can tune into them. That's why we love being in nature. But when we start to hear the music of it, the yeah. music of the plants, you were talking about the music of our meridians, the music of our systems. And I wanted to say with the plant music, one thing that happened very strange recently to me is I went to put it onto a plant and the plant didn't sing. But when I put it on me, <laughs> it, oh, that cool. was really trippy. And oh, so God. when you mention when we're in this space of peace and stillness and you've gotten your downloads, how do you recognize that this portal is opening, that there's other information there? Some we, we're, we're, we're getting this all the time, but we're just not aware of it. Right. How do you distinguish it? Wow. Well, <clears throat> the basic thing is chills. I mean, that's how I started. I remember thinking, uh, let me, uh, this is a good example. Years ago, like over 20 years ago, this psychic said, universal love comes in through the thymus down into the heart. And I'm like, okay, let me visualize this, right? And occasionally I would get chills and I was like, whoa, right? And over about five to 10 years, I kept visualizing it. And then after a certain point, I was able to actually run that energy of universal love down into my heart like this. And then I found a sound. So you can start with visualization. And it's, it's kind of like they say, fake it until you make it. Visualize it until you run it, right? <clears throat> Years ago, someone's, one of my instructors says, Dave, do you know how to run energy? I'm like, no. How do you do it, right? 
And I so I, so I that's what I've learned is to visualize it until the energy starts running. Visualize source coming down to your crown as light into your heart, coming up from the earth, you know, uh, through your feet out to your heart. Visualize this flow over and over until you start getting full on chills. So now I have chills that go through my whole body. It's like, whoa, right? And then as you do that, what's happening these days, it seems like, is these higher beings are going, <clears throat> okay, I can see you. You're a bright light that's stable now. Let's go to the next level, right? And that happened about two years ago where these higher beings came in and they said, okay, now let's actually open up your pituitary and pineal. And I'm like, okay, go for it, right? <clears throat> and now it's like, it's like I'm able to access oneness and source and universal love pretty much at will. Still some situations <laughs> where you can't, but right? And I mean, this is a deal. <clears throat> this is everybody's homework. If you can't access universal love at will, work on it, practice it, visualize it, run that energy. If you can't access oneness, where you're one with everybody and everything in the universe at will, that's the ultimate goal. Once we are, and this is really interesting because we've been talking about science and technology and stuff, but ultimately we're not going to need any of that. We're going to be able to access the field and go, oh, there's a pain in my stomach. It's gone. There's cancer. Well, you won't even get to get to a cancer cell, right? Oh, there's a little little stuck emotion here. Yeah. Okay, let's go on with the day. <laughs> right, right. We'll have the power to completely heal anything that comes in. Although ultimately, when everybody on the planet's in that zone, there won't be stuff to heal. Because right now we're so entrained into this electromagnetic field, which totally has fear and anxiety and, and anger in it, right? Once this, we clean up our electromagnetic field of the whole planet, <clears throat> then we're at this whole other level where we're dealing with problems of how one can we be, <laughs> right? Are we going to connect to our soul or just to source, right? Those are the problems we'll have. Right. It's like, OK, we need to be more with source instead of our soul. Oh, God. <laughs> right. So there's a whole nother level of ascension we go through. Right. And, and challenges. But yeah, ultimately, these issues will go away. It's so interesting because, <laughs> again, 10 years ago, it was like, let's visualize the world all as one, all hearts connected. And now, you know, even different different intuitives are saying, like Corey Good says, 2027, 20, we could be all one. Metatron and their downloads says, 2037, we could, all hearts could be connected on the planet. What if that's true? In mm -hmm. our lifetime, that we are all in this zone of complete connection to source, to each other, heart open completely, and all diseases are resolving, right? And we're cleaning up all pollution, cleaning up the economic system, and cleaning up everything on the planet so it's back to supporting us 100% instead of us hurting it, right? Yeah. I'm seeing it. And with, with these yes. whole groups that are showing up next door, it's, it's quite amazing the work that people are doing, right? In my, in my conference, you know, for the last couple of years, I've been saying, <clears throat> if you had all the money in the world, what would you do to help the planet? And it's really cool. The point of, of doing that has to, was to really get people to think 
What if we did have all the money in the world? Well, the truth is the, the resources on the planet are so great that we could all have all the money in the world. There is so, it's because people hoard it, right? So the, there, it's to be able to visualize that, but there's the main thing that a lot of people are saying in answer to that is <clears throat> there's already thousands and thousands of people that are doing incredible work that are just ready to feed every person. I just had a demonstration next door of this guy. He's using sound in water to create a hydrogen explosion like the sun that will create infinite energy. Hallelujah. It's a free, it's a free <laughs> energy device and you can use sound to trigger it, right? I mean, <clears throat> free energy for everybody that hurts yes. nothing. In fact, is actually healing, right? I mean, it's, and then this other guy was at, at the same meeting. He's like figured out how to, to uh, grow organic inside of a ship and feed a whole country, right? And so he's got a device that actually shows the nutrient content of any plant, which means we can now take all the different frequencies, all the different combinations of frequencies, all the different musical flows and test plants to see which brings out the nutrients that we want in that plant and makes it grow 10 times more. So we now have a scientific way to test our frequencies to make, to, to feed the planet and make people healthier, make our food way more <clears throat> healthy with more nutrients in it. That is the new earth that we are all envisioning <laughs> and we will get there, you know, hallelujah for all of that. <laughs> You know, um, our our leaders, politicians, I think it's going to get to a point where each of us surrender to love yeah. and right. we're going to create a demand for our leaders, either to them step out of the way or for them to just start looking at this seriously. But I think we've got a lot going on and the shift is going to happen yeah. as it goes and be very good it's important to hold that vision of new earth like we saw your vision of new earth we have it too yeah. hearts open yeah. unity consciousness yeah. unity consciousness we're <laughs> developing that but we can see once science catches up to this that we're already in unison we just don't know it i laugh because it used to be we wish to be thought of as woo woo yes and now it's like Science. It's like scientists are joining us now, right? It's now actually happening. It's actually happening. So thank you so much for this. All of these interviews that you do, the presentations in this Sound Healing Conference are free and they're available to those who register. We put the link in the Zoom chat box here. You can also find the link to register on this web page scroll down in the description box and you'll see it and i want to say that when you register there's an opportunity to own the series and get a bunch more information on sound healing plus frequencies that david mentioned there's some frequencies and music more courses from david of course all of the presentations but also presentations from the Sound for Brain Conference and mm -hmm. the Sound Conference of 2020. Really incredible stuff. Plus plant music. That's mm -hmm. my favorite. So David, this is really wonderful. You've brought together just an amazing crew and even the spiritual side of it. Ama, you've got Ama. You know, so we didn't we didn't talk about it in the presentation with Ama. She's feeding 600,000 people with her association in India. Brilliant. She's doing, I mean, work to clean up the planet. I mean, she's like this major, major engine of love and light in a really magnificent way. And actually totally into, into 
chant and mantra. And then there's the story of Madhu. Madhu. Oh, healed from paralysis. Complete paraplegic and uses really? his voice with toning, chant, and mantra. And within six months, he's like back to normal. It's like, oh my God, right? The, this is the one thing. We had quite a few people that talked about it. We have the power to heal ourselves, right? Sing that song. We got the power. <laughs> Ooh, right? <laughs> really? Totally. We do. That's so totally. empowering. Now I'm all lit up. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> that's that's so beautiful. When I okay, I want to share another quick story that that illustrates how innate this is within us. Babies, as you said before, will coo. When we were in Peru at Sacsayhuaman, there's a t there's a tunnel you go through, and it's it's to illustrate the bardo. When we leave this physical body and we journey through the darkness and we come out through the other side, it was really dark in that tunnel, and we were with other people. But all I could do was tone, and this is before mm -hmm. I knew anything about it. Mm -hmm. That was an innate ability in the total darkness, right. pitch right. black. Ooh, wow, that was amazing. And so this is what we know within us. And you're doing such incredible work to prove it with mm -hmm. all of the beautiful researchers, the scientists, the Medical Sound Association, the Sound Education Association. There's a question. Can you repeat the website for the people to download for the education? Was that Sound yeah, Association Center? Yeah, com. Sound That's Education cool. Center. And if people want to join the Medical Sound Association, it's medicalsoundassociation.com. And for both of those, all you have to do is fill out the contact form to join. And of course, it's free. And we have uh, meetings coming up for both of them. The next meeting for the Medical Sound Association is how to, to, to work with depression. Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, um, You've got beautiful frequencies for that and your own um, presentations in the conference go into that even more. Right. We've right. got over 30 researchers, scientists, musicians, healers that are part of this. And the good thing is each presentation has a sound bath either within it or someone presenting it. So we can really experience uh, the vibrations that come from that. Right. So cool. Right. Right. It's so funny. It's like I've been to so many conferences, even on sound, where it's like blah 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 blah, and then that's the frequency the you sound. leave leave with blah 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 blah. Right? Goodness gracious! Let's do sound. If we're going to do a conference on sound, let's actually do it and actually get people, you know, the experience and feel it because that's the whole deal. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful sound healers that are there and it's just a wonderful time so again we thank you for that and we invite all of those watching to register for the globe sound healing conference david thank you thank you thank you again major kudos i'm just so proud of you i'm <laughs> proud that you didn't get um you know some some would just get trampled by bill nye the science guy but you uh -huh are actually proving him right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my Thank God. You, you know, keep it on. Yeah. Oh, uh, Netflix. I think the, the Netflix oh, yes. thing is going to change things drastically because now we're That's, in the mainstream. You're Seriously. in the mainstream and that whole system. I mean, even the Netflix, that whole way that movies and shows are being made now, mm -hmm. you're illustrating to all the other light workers out there that these topics can become mainstream. I, We've I, seen it on after life experiences, near death experiences. Now we're getting it with sound. We're making ascension normal. Yeah, right. Yes. So beautiful. Thank you, David Gibson of the Globe Sound Healing Institute. And thank you all for watching us. We truly hope this inspires you to go forward using sound in your life. Your intuition is your guide and so is your higher self and other guides. Thank you, David. This has been so spectacular. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, everyone.
Blessings. Thank you for listening to this quantum conversation. And thank you for dancing with us to the cosmic heart. As we raise our own vibration, we raise the vibration of the planet. This show is dedicated to you and all awakening hearts as we are here to shine our bright light and amplify our love. Access all quantum conversations, special offers from our guests, and online healing retreats by visiting AcousticHealth.com. I'm Loren Gailey, and from my sacred heart to yours, I honor your magnificent love and light. We leave you now with music from the universe. Music literally created by the universe as musical notes were assigned to mathematical equations. The result is this beautiful music available at AcousticHealth.com. Namaste. Namaste.